What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about Gutenberg, which is literally right around the corner. It's going to be the default editor within WordPress as of WordPress 5.0. Now there's been a lot of talk about Gutenberg and what it means to the future of WordPress over the past year. People are starting to question what is it going to do to third party independent developers who create plugins and who create premium themes like Divi, Elementor, Beaver Builder, and others. Will the introduction of Gutenberg as the default way we create content within WordPress, do away with third-party page builders and website builders that power millions of websites today? This is a good question. A lot of people are asking it. Some people are very concerned about the future of WordPress and what it means in terms of creating content, what it means for their business, and will they be able to keep up with the development? While others are ready for it, they're saying, you know what, they're embracing Gutenberg and they're embracing the future of WordPress because they understand that WordPress has to continuously evolve. Today, WordPress powers 30% of all modern websites. That's millions of websites using the free and open source software. And entire businesses have been created around WordPress itself, such as page builders and website builders like Divi, Elementor, and Beaver Builder, and a lot of third-party plugin developers and premium theme developers. So now going back to the question, Will the introduction of Gutenberg in WordPress 5.0 completely do away with the need for these page builders and website builders? At first glance, it kind of seems like they're going to be difficult to uh, to stay in business. I mean, the competition is going to be great. Gutenberg is going to be baked right into WordPress 5.0. That means it's going to be the default way that people create content. So whenever somebody creates a WordPress powered website for the first time, that's what they're going to be introduced to. The Gutenberg editor and creating blocks in order to create their pages and posts and things of that nature. This also means that people will have to go the extra step if they want to implement something like Elementor, Divi, or Beaver Builder, or use a premium third-party theme that's not available on the WordPress repository. And that's what has everybody talking. But then you have to think about it as well. Over the years, WordPress has been releasing the default theme used by WordPress. Now, obviously in 2018, they haven't released the default theme, and that's because they're putting all their attention on Gutenberg. But in the years past, the default theme is what people were presented when they first started their WordPress powered website. And if they wanted something different, they would have to either go to the free theme repository or go to a third party in order to get their theme. So while the default WordPress theme was the ones that people were presented with at first, it's not the theme that's used on the vast majority of websites powered by WordPress. So that's why in my opinion, plugins and page builders and website builders like Elementor, Divi, and Beaver Builder are still going to be in business. Obviously, this also means that they have to be prepared in order to pivot and alter their product to make sure they're providing more value than what's being provided in the core of WordPress itself. There's a reason why it's called the WordPress core, and that's your starting point. That's your foundation. That's what you start off with. And WordPress is meant to be extended, is meant to be enhanced. And there are thousands of developers who are doing that today with premium themes, plugins, and other types of solutions and services. If you go to some of the page builder and website builders websites and look at what they have to say about Gutenberg and how it impacts their business, they're obviously staying on top of it. They're taking a look at the Gutenberg plugin itself, analyzing how it works, seeing how they can implement their plugin or their theme builder or website builder with Gutenberg, trying to make sure there's minimal conflicts, and also seeing where the opportunity is to grow their plugin and their business to the next level. One thing about some of the larger page builders, they practice what's called extreme programming, which means they have a bunch of releases that take place back to back. And they do this because they have a lot of requests from people, customers and developers who want to see new features or tweaks within the way their products work. And the beauty about WordPress is you get to see where it's going. You get to see the direction that it's going in. Developers are encouraged to download the beta version and the nightly builds of WordPress itself to see what the future is going to hold. So developers and bloggers and businesses are not caught off guard. There's always a lot of communication taking place. There's a lot of announcements. There's a bunch of people who are dedicated to focusing on WordPress that are staying on top of it. And some of these companies that are behind Elementor, Divi, and Beaver Builder have a whole entire dedicated team of developers who are always trying to add new features, always trying to figure out what's next. What will people want in terms of their website design and the ease of creating content? And the same is true about premium WordPress theme developers. You'll find that most themes get updated on a frequent basis in order to add new design trends or new functionality that previously didn't exist. And we could actually go back to like 2012 and 2013 when WordPress themes were just about all you had to work with. Page 
builders really didn't come onto the scene until shortly thereafter. And at that point, even with drag and drop functionality, premium themes continued to sell because people like options. Remember, WordPress powers 30% of the modern web. Millions of websites online use WordPress. That trend is continuously going up and people want WordPress to continue to be the dominant force within the CMS field. But in order to do that, it has to continuously evolve. So as developers, it's important that we evolve our skill sets as well. We continue to stay on top of it. So you can rest assured that right now, the team at Elementor and the team at these other page builders and website builders are fully analyzing the code, looking into how they can make sure that their products and their plugins and their theme builders, website builders and page builders will be compatible with Gutenberg. And what you have to remember is that Gutenberg is going to be an option. If your website's already built using some of these page builders, backwards compatibility is very important to WordPress. People will have the option to either choose to use Gutenberg or they can turn that feature off. And the fact that Gutenberg is going to be coming out in stages, with the first stage being more about the blocks and the back-end content creation, and future stages about full website customization. The big change that's coming within WordPress 5.0 will indeed be a big change, but it's a change that everybody's getting ready for. So if you're currently using Elementor, if you're currently using Divi or Beaver Builder or a third-party premium theme, don't worry, your website's still going to work as long as the developer team is staying on top of it. Now what it does mean is that the third-party theme developers or the smaller page builders and website builders that not as many people may use. Now, those may go out of business because their release cycle may not be as robust. The developer team may not be on top of all the changes that are taking place. That's why it's important that if you're going to choose a page builder or website builder or a premium WordPress theme or plugin, that you want to make sure it's coming from a reputable source. You want to make sure that the person behind the development and design of that piece of software, that theme or plugin, is going to keep up with the latest trends and coding standards and any changes happening within the WordPress core. So will Gutenberg fully replace Elementor, Divi and Beaver Builder and Premium Themes? The answer is no. Obviously it's going to be the default but as I mentioned every year that WordPress was released we got a default theme and still people chose other themes to use. Alright so hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to share my insight on why I believe that Gutenberg will not put these other businesses or developers out of business. What it does mean is that we have to stay on top of our game. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. And if you want to learn how to code a WordPress theme, I'll leave a link in the card section up above and down below in the description area. So definitely check that out. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.